Hi guys, welcome to this episode where we'll discuss ways of strengthening your 3D resin prints. We've got a bit to get through, so let's start now. So you've just finished printing your model and it looks perfect, then you accidentally drop it on the floor and it breaks. Sound familiar? It's disappointing I know. There are a few things we can do to help prints have more tensile strength. Pro tip number one, increase the layer duration. If you're making something that requires full dimensional accuracy, then it's not always an option. By increasing the layer time, it can help strengthen the part straight off the printer. The second tip to increase strength is to lower the layer height. If you go down as 10 micron, which most of these resin printers will go to, yes, it will take longer, but definitely increases the strength of the cured part. You can reduce the layer duration when reducing the layer height, as there is less resin for the light to cure through. And my third tip is adding flexible resin to the hard resin to increase the tensile strength, like our Flex 100. The best way to do this is work with the percentages when adding the flexible resin. So let's say you want to make a 25% flex rapid blend, for example, where 25% is flex 100 and 75% is the hard rapid resin. Get some small digital scales like these, a plastic cup and a stirrer. To keep it really simple, I like to work with 100 grams at a time. Remember, resin can be denser than water, so one gram doesn't equal one mil. That's why it's better to weigh it rather than to measure it. Start by adding the larger part first, in this case, the rapid resin. So carefully pour it until the scale reaches 75 grams. Just leave the scale without zeroing it and now pour in the Flex 100 until you get the 100 grams in total. Give it a really good stir and make sure the two parts are mixed well together. There you have it, a Flex Wrapper blend of 25%. Easy. Let's have a look at the different versions by using this torque meter. The first test is Rapid Resin printed at 50 microns, seven second layers with nothing added. And Wrench 2, is Rapid Resin with 25% Flex 100 added. As you can see by these numbers on the torque meter, by adding the Flex 100, it increased the breaking point quite considerably. You can add this depending on what you're printing and how flexible you need it to be. It's important to remember when adding Flex to the Rapid Resin, it will increase the normal layer durations. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found that informative. Please remember to subscribe to this channel to keep up with future episodes, but most importantly, remember to keep on 3D printing.